Well, Lizzie, 4th of July is coming up Sunday. What do you plan to do on that fine day? Well, first of all, I'm going to sit on my porch and watch other people waste their money. Yeah. I kind of like them fireworks, but I don't like to buy them. What, did you make your own? No, I don't make my own. I just watch other people. Yeah, well, I'm going to stay home and make my own fireworks. Are you? You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, and welcome to your old news update. I'm Izzy Fitz. And I'm Bud Driscoll. Topping the headlines from yesteryear, here's one from July 18, 1985. We all know this fella, this tall, skinny fella from out the Salina Airport. Is that a good friend of yours? Like yep. That? A plane. P July 11, 1985. We'll see if anybody remembers this. A plane with an inoperable front landing gear was denied, denied a chance to land Wednesday at the Salina Municipal Airport. Because the pilot wanted people, now get this, he wanted people to drive alongside and toss 94 pound bags of cement on the rear wings to stabilize the plane as it landed. I've heard of that. The, the plane later landed at the Liberal Airport using the technique disallowed in Salina. Salina Airport, Airport Authority Executive Director Tim Rogers who administers airport operations in Salina, said the plane was denied access because he was not going to risk lives so a pilot could save his plane from nose damage. So that was the first time Tim Rogers must have said, do not approach. That's right, and I'm sure his hair was a little darker too. Yeah, I, I bet it was. Okay, we're going back to 1960, with July 5th. <sighs> this news comes out of Harrington. Yeah. A Harrington mother has a problem. Her two-year-old son likes the family dog so well that he thinks it's a member of the family. Now, the youngster has started imitating the dog. That, yeah, scratching and barking. You do pretty good. Yeah. It was funny at first, the parents thought, just like yours was funny at yeah. first. But it ceased to be a laughing matter the other day when the mother caught her son chasing cars with the dog. Yep, that's... That's not good. It's even worse when they caught it. I wonder if she gives him a dog biscuit when he yeah. does when he does good. Yeah, she better give him a flea bath. Yeah. <laughs> July 10th, 1960. Authorities in five states continued to search late Saturday for three men who broke out of the Saline County Jail Friday night and apparently slipped through a cordon of 100 police officers. Great. No trace of the men, all considered dangerous, have been found. They escaped after beating Sheriff Guy Lemon, age 67, and Martin G. Gellert, 68, the jailer. Well, those were, those were elderly guys. They shouldn't, you know, they, they beat him up. They took advantage. That was before tasers. That's right. They should have had They should have had should've. some. I have to ask Carson Mansfield about that one. I know. I'm sure he was around. Yep. July 7th, 1910. I don't think he was around for this one. No. But... A pretty and charming Salina girl and Salina man figured in an elopement Tuesday, which came to nearly causing the death of the mother of the bride, Mrs. Poor lady. Maddie Buck, oh, a poor sufferer Maddie. from heart trouble from some years. Mr. George A. Kralik and Mr. Della Miss, not Mr. Miss Del, Della F. Buck, motored to Minneapolis and procured a marriage license and were married by probate judge L. A. Henry. Upon their return to Salina, they proceeded to make known their relation, new relationship, whereupon Mrs. Buck became unconscious and for a long time her life was despaired of. Oh. Yeah. The match was radically opposed by the relatives of the bride, well, especially as the mother. Especially mama. As you can guess. Well, they are highly respected and among the most substantial people of the county. Mr. Craddock was employed for a time by B.H. Tipton at the music store, but lately has had no employment. He is a musician. Who wants a dead weak, deadbeat son-in-law anyway? I know. I don't blame Musician, blame that should have been the red flag That's right, there. right Those right. guys are ne'er-do-wells. Read more about the way things used to be in the look back section of Monday's Salina Journal. And I'm, uh, who am I? Oh, I'm Bud Driscoll. And we'll see you, and this is Izzy Fitz, and you have a good Brave day. Man. Don't let your daughter marry a musician, and we'll see you yesterday.